In September 2009, a South Korean couple were arrested after their three-month-old daughter passed away from neglect whilst caring for a virtual young girl instead. A 41-year-old man and a 25-year-old wife, both unemployed, initially met through a chat website in 2008. They reportedly left their infant unattended while they went to a 24-hour internet cafe. It was there that they became infatuated with raising their virtual female character named Anima. In a popular role-playing game, Prius Online, it gains magical powers as she grows older. After they put their own baby to sleep, they then take off down the road to the internet cafe and come back 10 hours later to give the baby powdered milk. These sessions grew longer and longer, eventually spanning over 12-hour increments. The baby was born prematurely in July 2009 and weighed 6.4 pounds. The mother noticed her child becoming quite thin as she spent more and more time away from her. On the day of the daughter's passing, she weighed an astonishing 5.5 pounds, less than when she was born. The mother began noticing her daughter crying more frequently when she cuddled her and how thin she had gotten. She stated that the hospital never taught her about baby care and she never bothered researching or educating herself how to do so either. After coming home early one morning, after a 12-hour session, they noticed the baby was unresponsive and saw she was no longer alive. It was confirmed she passed away due to malnutrition. The couple fled to their parents' house, but were later picked up and arrested. A police officer said that the couple seemed to have lost their will to live a normal life because they didn't have jobs and gave birth to a premature baby. They indulged themselves in the online game of raising a virtual character so as to escape from reality, which led to the passing of their real baby. The couple were expecting their second child at the time. The father said, I'm sorry for what I did and hope that my daughter does not suffer any more in heaven. I think about our baby in heaven and I'll be guilty until the day I die. Speaking about his unborn child, the father said, there'll be no second mistake. The hearing which occurred in May 2010 sentenced the father to two years in prison, while the mother, who was due to give birth in August, received a suspended two-year sentence. <laughs>